Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at uh, Taylor Coach in Millgrove, Ontario, Canada. We're here to shoot another video. This is a 2019 14-foot rear door. Uh, we've had done some new uh, provisions on the 2019s that we wanted to bring and show you guys today. So, but we've kept a lot of our great features that we've always had. We still have the BAL jacks on the back. It still has all your aluminum underbelly, your aluminum roof. A lot of folks have asked me, you know, where's the sewer hose? It does have the sewer hose carrier right here. So it's all handy and it's tucked away so it can be washed. It doesn't rust out and it's easy to get your fittings in and out. Um, it has, this is your outside water heater. Something else that we changed a couple of years ago, I wanted to mention to people, we do all twist locks on them on the outside. So when people are coming into the parks and they're pl plugging in their hydro, they don't have to worry about ant hills or little mice or anything climbing up their hose, climbing up I should say their hydro cord and trying to get into the coach because it's all sealed off. All of our coaches also have a built-in pressure regulator that we've done for years and years and you've got your fill spout. Um, over on the other side here we've created some storage from the outside on a 14 foot and put a light in it so it's underneath the one seat area on the inside so that uh, when people have mentioned about having access to be able to carry lawn chairs or fishing poles and different things like that if your fishing pole comes on you now have a nice access from the outside on a 14 foot. Still has a nice uh, 9 foot A and E rollout awning on the side as well but let's take you on the inside it's quite quite pretty on the inside. Now we got you on the inside of this coach. To start off with, uh, it's a 14 foot or it's a uh, 11 foot floor and it is all in a designer series color colors too. So it has the dark charcoal with all the frosty maple and, and the wood grain with the uh, chai on the walls with a plank look floor which gives it a very, very fresh, always sort of cheery look inside. Doesn't matter if it's a sunny day or a gloomy day out, it's always very cheery inside. Um, and point out some of the features, you got your closet at the back here, that it's got two rods in it, so you got like 10 inches of hanging space, lots of storage up above. The single dinette here goes into a bed as well, making a six foot three in length or 75 inches. Um, this particular couple also added just our, what we call our small stereo, so just an AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth stereo. So they have music on the outside as well as on the inside. This this coach also has your built-in toilet shower combo in the 14. It's got a fan in the bathroom with your uh, fantastic fan up above us. It has your 2.7 uh, Dometic fridge in it with a nice size freezer up above it here. Considering the size of unit it is, it's got your two burner cooktop, a range hood, and your microwave. Uh, it's got the darker counters in it, which are very nice, something we've been using for the last year, your cutlery tray in it, um, stainless steel sink, your high-rise faucet, and again, something that we've been doing on is your pull-down blind on the kitchen here as well. So it keeps the kitchen nice and clean when you're working with your water, dishes, prepping food. There's no curtain getting in the way. We'll have Bob slide around here for a minute. Up at the front on this one where we have shown lots of them with the dinette and stuff, we've done it with a gaucho, but what we've also done is we moved our converter away from the front. It's a progressive dynamics converter. It's made in the U.S. It has your charge wizard in it, so it has a lot of great features because it is made in the U.S. Um, for a power converter. It's, it's our choice that we've been using for the last number of years. been a great power converter. So your storage from the outside is tucked all underneath this, this bed area here. So when you put this into a bed, you're just going to grab your cushions. Ah, pull straight out. Cushions go up at the front. They're all sewed together so you have no seams in the bed. So this is making into a 54 by 75 inches. So it's a true double bed. Um, it also now gives you access underneath when we talked about laundry baskets and stuff like that. You can tuck two or three laundry baskets underneath while you're camping and that. So you've got extra clothes, maybe your dirty clothes, uh, that underneath as well. So it gives you a lot more storage to bring it back. It's just folding up. 
You're going to push your cushions up and it goes right back up. You've got cross ventilation on your bed up here with a front picture window once you open the stone guard. It's got our overhead bunk area here that we showed in lots of them. I'll show you quickly coming down. The cushions in it, when it's a single bunk like this, we do them as an option. It has a cover that covers the opening, but it also then makes a great storage area for extra blankets, pillows, things like that in the coach. Um, for people that just want to use it as storage. When it's up, it just looks like an overhead cupboard. Uh, this particular unit with the features that are on it, uh, so it's our, what I would refer to as a, a standard unit along with what they've added is the furnace and the stereo to it. Uh, when we put it on the scales, this one come in at 1,578 pounds, which is very towable by a lot of the smaller vehicles out there, but it's got a lot of great creature comforts because you have a nice double bed, you still have a dinette to sit at. For the ones that they ever wanted to take this foam out of here, put a house mattress in it, they have the option to put a house mattress or they could just go to a permanent bed in general and not have it slide out. Put a house mattress in it with a lift front on it and the storage is underneath. This has given you a few more options that if it was rainy and the weather isn't that great or the bugs were bad or you had a few people in, instead of having the dinette, you've got a couch, you can lounge up, you can read a book, stretch your feet across while somebody's sitting at the dinette. So it gives you a little few more options than just a permanent bed here all the time. Um, which we think is a pretty great idea because a lot of the 14s we've showed in the last while have all just been the dinette, but we do offer the Gaucho too. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Watch for more videos down the road. We've got a few more coming for the 2019s, and then we'll go into our 2020s for the fall. Again, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call or send me an email, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.